little's past midnight. You're having a hard time to sleep. You're craving for something. You stood up and slowly opened the door, then peek outside. After making sure that no one was there, you get out and hurriedly went to the kitchen. You open the fridge to look for ice cream. You feel like you want something cold and sweet, but unfortunately, there is no ice cream in the fridge. You look at the time. It's already past 12 midnight. You're scared of going out at this hour. But I really want to eat vanilla ice cream, you murmur. Why? Do you want something to eat? You heard a voice at your back that made you flinch. You slowly turned around and smiled. No, I just drank some water. You answered in a low voice to your husband. He smiled slightly and came as he stood in front of you and bowed a little and stared at your face. Why, Em? We already know each other for five years, and I can say that somehow I know when you are telling the truth and when you are lying. And right now I can say that you are lying. You just pout your lips and raise your hand because you felt defeated. I guess you are right. You know me well. Now tell me, what do you want to eat? I read the book. It said that this mister of your pregnancy, you will always crave for something. Wow, you really impressed me. I need to know so I can be able to understand what your needs. Um, I'm craving for ice cream, but it's okay. I'll just eat that this morning. Ice cream? He shuffles your bangs and says, Then I will buy you. What flavor? At this hour? At this hour. Cause you're craving for it. And my baby wants to eat it. He took the key that was on the cabinet. I'll be back. I'll just buy all the flavors they have so you can choose. Thank you, Cole. You don't need to say that. I also have my responsibilities with you. And to our baby. You and Jungkook have known each other for five years since you were together in the same company. Usually, you were together every time the company has a new project to do or to release. You two are also the ones the company sends abroad when there is an important event. You can say that you're close to each other, but no mutual feelings, just friends. Three months ago, while on a work trip, you both got drunk at the party you went to. Then just happened you two woke up in your hotel room completely naked. Then flashbacks came, and you confirmed that Something happened between the two of you. And because of that, you two suddenly felt awkward to each other. You start avoiding him, and even looking through his eyes, you can't do it anymore. Your friendship suddenly became cold. You start distancing yourself from him in embarrassment. He tries to reach out with you. However, you have many excuses and reasons. However, it's like your fate is playing with you. After two months of avoiding him, not talking to him if it's not necessary, you find out you are pregnant. Your world has become even smaller as if your destiny is making a way for you to be together. You don't know what to do when you find out you are pregnant. You really had no intention of telling him the truth, but your brain was already messed up. So you ended up of telling him. One of the things you fear is how if your baby bumps gets bigger. How will you explain to your parents what really happened? Your office mates will surely laugh at you. You thought about everything negative that might could happen. The time you told Jungkook about your pregnancy, he just looked at you and said, Don't worry. I will take my responsibility to you. Before your baby bumps gets bigger, 
Let's get married. Shock. That was exactly what you felt when he said that. At the same time, you also feel sad and guilty. You believe that he only do that because you are pregnant. He has no choice. You feel guilty for taking away his rights to find the girl he likes. Your mind became even more confused. You want your baby to have a father. You don't want to be embarrassed for getting pregnant because you had a one night stand. You also don't want to tie with someone who doesn't love you. So you ended up of refusing the marriage. However, Jungkook didn't agree. So yeah, you ended up of marrying him. It was just a simple wedding. Only families and close friends were the guests. Jungkook knew you weren't comfortable with him after what happened. So he just let you sleep in the guest room. Even before, he was really kind, caring, and gentleman. So in comes on how he treated you, you don't have any problem with him. He cares you even more after finding out that your pregnancy is complicated. So you really need to be careful. A big smile crept into your face after you hear the car coming outside. You are like a child excited to get something. In a few seconds, the door opened. He walked inside with two plastic bags of groceries. This is all for you in case you crave. Just tell me if you crave something, he said. Thank you. While enjoying your ice cream, Jungkook just is staring at you secretly. He was just smiling at your reaction. Does ice cream makes you really happy? It sounds crazy, but yes. You're about to finish the ice cream until he suddenly wiped your lips with his finger, which deliberately gave you a flutter. You just swallow your saliva and stop eating in shock. Why? He asked after seeing your stunning. Ha ha? I mean, why did you stop eating? Nothing. You smile and continue to eat, trying to hide your feelings. Why, M? We will do everything to be good parents to our baby, okay? Mm. Ko? Thank you for taking care of me. You just smile and remove the strands of your hair on your face. Do you know that I love? But he couldn't able to finish his sentence after he saw your writhing in pain. He immediately stood up and checked you. Why? How are you feeling right now? Call my baby. As you tighten your grip on his arms, he didn't waste time. He took the key again and picked you up to take you to the hospital. You felt a sudden pain in your baby bum. It hurts so much, you feel like your hip is going to separate. Unfortunately, it was too late. The doctor was unable to save your baby. Aside of your heart problem, you are stressed at work, so your pregnancy has become more complicated. You were just quiet in the room. You were in the bed while he was sitting on the sofa. Until now, you two couldn't believe that your angel were gone. He was just looking down until he heard you trying to cry silently. He stood up and approached you. Then, you just felt a warm hug. I'm sorry. I lost our angel. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. It's my fault. If I had been careful, 
You really have lost our baby. He broke the hug and sat on the bed. He helped it to get up to sit. Listen to me. Everything happens for a reason. Just think that the Lord used him so that we can be okay again. Said him while holding her face. You hug him while snuggling your face on his chest. Are we going to divorce now? What do you mean? We no longer have a reason to stay together. Our baby is gone. She broke the hug again and held your chin as he looked directly into your eyes. Do you really think I married you just because I made you pregnant? Okay, fine, then let's divorce. Tears are slowly tripping on your cheek. The truth is, you love him. You don't know when it started to feel that way. That night, you are not really drunk. You have a chance to leave if you want it. But you choose to stay and let something happen to the part of you because you love him. That is the main reason why you start avoiding him. Because you are ashamed of yourself. Let's get divorced. Then, I will marry you again. M marry again? Oh. I love you since then. You are my happiness. I don't want to lose you. I already lost our baby, so please don't leave me. If you believe we just got married because of the baby, then let's divorce so I can marry you again. Because I love you. That night, what happened that night was not an accident. I purposely did that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's wrong. Then you suddenly pick his lips, which makes him flinch. That night, I purposely give myself to you cause the truth is I love you. His eyes widen and can't stop himself from giggling as he hugs you again. I'm scared to lose a baby again. It won't happen again. Next time, I'll be double careful of you. And if God doesn't allow us to have a child, then I'll just pour my love to you. Good night, Kobe. Thank you for watching.